It's the question every political reporter wants answered. Just how motivated are Democratic voters in the age of President Trump? Perhaps the best test of that enthusiasm will be June 20th in the suburbs of Atlanta. Republicans there are trying to defend the seat that was vacated when Tom Price joined the president's cabinet as Secretary of Health and Human Services. And the race will be a nail-biter. In an Atlanta Journal-Constitution poll released late last week, Democrat John Ossoff had a seven-point lead over Republican Karen Handel in this traditionally red district. Helping propel Ossoff above the 50% threshold? Well, President Trump's approval rating, which has dropped three points since April's primary election. Oh, and the $24 million he's raised doesn't hurt either. This has become the most expensive House race in U.S. history. While Karen Handel works on getting out reliably Republican voters, John Ossoff is trying to expand the electorate that shows up at the polls. What can we learn about the Democrats' chances of taking back the House of Representatives during next year's midterms? I'll be reporting down in Georgia ahead of the runoff on Tuesday to try to find out.